Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another live stream. Tuesday Muse Day. I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Thanks for showing up. It's nice to see everybody. Today's theme is... I have no idea. What do you guys think? No, it's in the title. <laughs> I just uh, made a video like a week and a half ago and I rejuvenated a bunch of bells. I think I talked about that last week. And uh, I was so happy about it and satisfied that I decided to go all in on the bells this week. Uh, however, not exclusively, as you can tell. All right. I'm kind of digging this. <laughs> I want to just, maybe I'll just stop talking. Uh, later on, I'm going to talk about the significance of the bell as, uh, you know, kind of historically and within the context of spirituality and education. How about that? And uh, I'll give you some news. We, got, we have a master class coming up on the channel for patrons. Actually, it's not on the channel. It'll be off the channel. Uh, Patreon.com slash clinic for patrons. Talk about that. Yeah, and we'll get to your comments and questions. Uh, for now, I want to say hello to everybody. So, Roseanne, Lacey, Bill, welcome. Mark, nice to see you, my friend. Charlie is here. And is it Edna? Brooklyn, New York, welcome. I think it's your first time here, perhaps. Cornelius. Steady Eddie Cornelius is here. Welcome. Rebecca, nice to see you. Daisy is here from Sydney. Wow. Awesome. And Daryl. And am I caught up? Christina. Nice to see you. And what is that? I don't even know how to say it. Gigi. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like this long name and it's just Gigi. Okay, got it. Thank you for saving me. Giganos Giganatosaur. Is it Giant? I don't know. I give up. But welcome. Thanks for being here. Let's play a little. A little more.
Alrighty. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So today's theme is, uh, yeah, some bells. And hopefully, um, I see some people having trouble. You're saying there's trouble with the chat? I don't know. I'm not in charge of any of that. But you know who is, kind of, <laughs> is Roseanne. I want to say Happy New Year. And uh, thank you to Roseanne for, as always, showing up and helping out. Uh, and Roseanne has a lot of information and she will help you. In fact, she already is. <laughs> As I see this, even I see this, uh, the chat on my computer screen, probably in about a 10 second delay, you guys. So see, she's on it. All right. Um, now, do I have a guess the sound? I kind of overlooked that today, but uh, maybe. Let me see. I think I do. Let's do one. I think you'll get it, though. I think you will. Let me grab my keyboard so I can. Uh, let me see. All right, here we go. Let's go. Guess the sound. All right, ready? What instrument is that? Uh, Cornelius, don't say the metal thingy. You are barred. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Just, there's no wrong, well, there are a lot of wrong answers, actually. But, you know, we are very forgiving here. Um, so, uh, take your best shot. Take your best guess. I'll give you a hint. It's the same, <laughs> it's the same as from... As from a couple weeks ago, I think. I think it was a couple weeks ago. It's basically the same. Might have been last week. I can't, I don't even know. Uh, uh, Agrigo is a good guess. Wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep going. Um, cowbells uh, technically is not correct, but good guess, you guys. You're on the right track. Keep going. That's, that's why we're here. Yeah, it's not an agro-go, actually. It is something a little different. Maybe this is a little tricky because of the scale. Um, so, <laughs> Roseanne's, Roseanne's like, well, that's a dead giveaway because she was here for like every single uh, Tuesday Muse Day, basically. So, come on, somebody, get in there before Roseanne. Uh, here it is again. Uh, so, aha, yeah, uh, <laughs> Roseanne got it. I said, Gankogui, let me get this question mark box out of the way. I'll show you this, um, because it is unusual. All right, so this one, let me go to my overhead. By the way, you guys, I'm working on a new camera setup, and can I focus this a little? Here we go. All right, I'm working on a new camera setup. I realize the overhead camera has this a little, it's a little weird still. Uh, maybe let's use the side, yeah. So I haven't quite got all my settings uh, done right, and uh, but I did just get another camera. Let me focus this guy, there we go. Um, I got a, uh, a new camera that is the same as my two old, it's an old camera, but it's the same as my two other cameras. And so now I've replaced my oddball third camera with a non-oddball third camera. But uh, I, anyway, you guys don't care about that. Here's the here's the Ago Go. I mean the Gangogui. Now you have me confused. Stop confusing me with facts. Um, this is the uh, Gangogui, and it's a little guy, as you can see, and it is. It's got the two bells. Kind of like, uh, sort of, I'm kind of liking the, the mallet, though. Uh, and maybe there. See, that's nice. But that's a nice little bell, right? It's tiny, portable. Here's the big brother right here. Oi! There we go. Wow. This is the one of the ones I redid uh, recently. New paint. It's got a new paint job. It's ready to go out. Ready for a night on the town. All right, kind of looks evil, doesn't it? Is that like a, it's kind of an evil looking bell, come to think of it. It's sort of like bending over, like, 
It's time to come. <laughs> Follow me down the stairway. Okay, that's a little morbid, but it's true. Uh, okay, that's, so that's that one. Here's the little guy. Wait for me. There they go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so congratulations, Roseanne. You get 17.35 points today for the correct answer. Gankogui is the bell. Uh, and um, before we go too much further, let's let's name some bells, shall we? Let's go around, let's go around the table, around the bell table. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, I haven't done a heavy metal show in a while. Uh, okay, so we had, let's just go over some of these. We have Gankogui. I know this is a little dark. Let me see if I can lighten this up a little bit on the camera. I just feel like it, uh, gets, it, oh my goodness. Uh, it starts to get a little, uh, weird with the frame rate. I don't know, you guys. I'm just a drummer trying to operate a live stream. All right, so that's the Gankogui. And then here, which we ha I haven't used yet, are the Argo Go. Actually, I did use them a little bit in the opening. That's the Argo Go, right? Have those. I'm gonna come back to these in a, in a minute. And then we have these, which are the Pete Engelhart triple, right? Triple Argo Go. And let me focus again. Uh, triple Argo Go. Those are beautiful, right? And these, interestingly, I think enough is these are about an E flat, right? And then an F and then a B flat. So we have a, a one, five and a two. So I'll get to the flute later, but this is why I was able to play the flute along with this. I kind of use this bell as a harmonic, what we call a tonal ground or a harmonic ground. Isn't that nice? So that's the Pete Engelhart triple bell. And then we had a couple cowbells because we need more cowbell, right? This is a very low pitched tycoon bell. Look at that, very flat, flat and wide. But I love this, it's a very low bell. And then we have uh, more of a standard sized bell here. This is also a, like a mambo bell. Was it hear how much higher that is? It's about a minor third. And then uh, we have a couple higher bells. We have like a small cha-cha bell. Pretty high pitch, that's a tycoon. Here's another tycoon, a little bit lower. And then we have this little guy, which those of you who were here before remember, this is a clave bell. Uh, and I think I used this last week or the week before. Also by Pete Engelhart. And uh, yeah, it's a little, really cute little bell. Then, all right, over here, we've got a set. And I, I, do, I wasn't using these because I just don't have room right now, but maybe we'll use them later. And this is uh, a set of what we call uh, Ken Ken. Ken Ken, and these are Dun Dun bells. They're used on the bass drums, the West African bass drum set. So we've got a large one, you know, Dun Dun Ba, Sang Ban is the medium, and Ken Kenny is the small. Those are the drum names, and these are the Ken Ken. So these would go on top of the Dun Dun, <laughs> which if you don't, you know, if you're not familiar with those drums, look it up, Dun Dun, D-U-N, D-U-N, with variations out there. There's a lot of variations in the drumming world, uh, in names and spelling and all kinds of things. But I'm giving you guys the names that I use, the most common. And of course, the most correct, according to me. <laughs> all right, here's a, uh, a shaker. Just, I, I wanted to add a little bit of shaker. And also it's blue. And that was fun. It's no coincidence that my shirt happens to also be blue today. Um, bongos, right? Uh, over here. 
And on the bongos, we've got the a cowbell. I know it's hard to see, but it's way over here. And a, a wood block. Those are native tongue percussion attachments. And then we have a conga drum over here. And then I know it's hard to see as well, but down over here, let's see if I can show you without crashing everything. I've got this cajon, right? That's my cajon. Cop percussion cajon, which I'm sitting on always. All right, I think we're all caught up. Now, with the flute, this is a bass flute. Hey, thanks Tom for the super chat. Appreciate that. You are a great example of what everybody should be doing. Thank you, I appreciate that. I appreciate the, uh, the contribution. Um, and Tom is a drummer, and Tom is also a flute maker, a Native American style flute maker. So I don't know, Tom, if you wanna leave any links or anything to what, anything you're doing, and this goes for everybody, but especially those of you who are making stuff. I don't know, Tom, if you're selling flutes or, I don't know, we haven't talked about that, but if you are, feel free to promote your stuff, you guys. <laughs> Put it in the chat. That's why we're here, to, to help everyone. So this is a Native American style flute, and um, this is, I'm gonna forget the name, darn it. I can never remember. I'm so bad with names, you guys. It'll, it'll come to me later. Who knows who's, who made this flute? You guys know. Uh, and um, this is a C flute, all right? But in the Native American flute naming procedure or tradition, uh, we just name the flute uh, uh, after the lowest note on the flute. And since most Native American style flutes, not all, but many are standardized in terms of the scale uh, we usually have the, what we call the la, or the sixth degree of the scale, which is a pentatonic scale. That's on the bottom. That's the low note. So here, here's a little flute lesson for those of you who don't know. So that note is a C, but the next one up is an E flat. And the E flat, if you remember from earlier when I was talking about that set of bells, this one. If I can get it to, oh, let me see. Uh, these bells right here. This is the E flat right here, which non-coincidentally matches this. So I, uh, I had, before the show started, I was experimenting with the bells and I heard that note as the the root, right, or you could use the word tonic or home note, the E flat, and I went and, so I first I, I said, okay, that's an E flat, but that means that I need a C flute because this flute is in the relative major key. Are you guys confused enough yet? <laughs> Some of you are getting this. If you're not, it's okay. You're still a good person. <laughs> we don't hold it against you. It's, uh, so uh, C minor, it, the relative major key is E flat major. That's what we're going for here. So the flute, you can play C, um, C minor. Or you can play C major, I'm sorry, E flat major. That's what I was doing. With the flute, all right? Okay, oh my God, we're all caught up. Yeah, Cornelius, ah, good old music theory, I know. As Soon as we start, you know, it's funny because people will ask, I do a lot of retreats, I do a lot of teaching, and sometimes people want you to explain music theory, but then at, once you do, they're sorry they asked. <laughs> Usually, because if you use a word, right, use a word, oh, tonic, oh, that's a subdominant, oh, that's the fifth degree. <laughs> I don't don't understand any of that. It's like listening to a scientist explain like what goes into these pills. Explain it. <laughs> okay, stop. All right, you guys. Um, all right, let's get into a little more of the subject matter, uh, which is bells. And um, I hope you guys find this interesting. Let me let me reach back here and forward my because I made this slide. Look at that. So bells, and I'm gonna give you the, the short rundown, and maybe, maybe we could talk about this in the chat a little bit, but I thought this, I really think this is interesting, right? 
bells uh, throughout the world in general are, and if you think about it, this is true, are used in places of education, but also elucidation and uh, spirituality. Think about it. And could you guys type some places where bells are used in education or spirituality, spiritual practices? And we're talking, it could be a situation where the bell is brought into, you know, an environment, or it can be a building. I'm giving you guys a lot of hints. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tee it up for you. Uh, it could be a building or a structure of some kind, all right? So could you guys put that in the chats, in the chats, in the chat? <laughs> where are bells used for education uh, and spirituality? And I think you'll agree that that is the case. All right, while you guys are doing that, uh, I want to talk to you about, talk to you about uh, the, the teacher archetype. And the teacher, uh, and we're not talking about just like school teacher. We're talking about a, a guide, right? Teacher in general, right? So a guide. Um, the, according to Angela Sarian in her book, The Fourfold Way, uh, in terms of a, a, what she calls a shamanic archetype, the teacher, the instrument associated with the teacher is the bell. Now, when we say bell, we don't necessarily mean cowbell, right? But the bell, as in the school bell, the church bell, the temple bell, the singing bowl bell, because that is a bell, isn't it? Kind of is a bell. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe she was the teacher. No. Uh, so bells are used and associated with the teacher archetype. What does the teacher archetype represent? What are the qualities of the teacher archetype? Now, I've given a whole talk on this. It's on the channel. It's on our Patreon under facilitation, I teach this in some of my facilitation courses, co courses because I think it's important to understand the role of a teacher. To me, you know, in, I'm going to summarize right now. Uh, the teacher is a guide, right, who connects for the student. And and you may be the student of your own teaching. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not saying this as in there is a teacher and a student. I'm just saying you could be both, right? We teach ourselves and we teach other people. And we're in and out of teacher and student roles a lot. So let's just put that who's teaching who aside. That's actually not important. Teachers, in my view, are the ones who connect the past with the present and possibly with the future a little bit. And what do I mean by that? Teachers are the ones who help uh, pass down information, who present information, who also hopefully come to understand who the student is and what they need, and then give them information that will help them in a way that is not only appropriate, but hopefully useful and inspiring and intriguing. Uh, and it could be all of those things. Um, the role of the bell, of course, in education, I mean, think about it. Throughout history, the bell called people into the classroom. It also, thank goodness, released us out to recess. <laughs> it, it rang at the end of the day, woo, line up. Uh, and uh, bells call people into places of worship. They also mark holidays, uh, days of mourning, times of the day. Uh, they're there as a marker and a guide. Uh, so, and, and if we think about the gong as a bell, of course, that opens up a whole nother 
area. So what I'd like you guys to do is think about uh, the role of the teacher, how you are a teacher, uh, how you've been inspired by your teachers, um, maybe your teaching style or your learning style, and come to know yourself a little bit better. And if you are, in fact, a teacher, think about you know, how you can get to know your students uh, and deliver them information and inspiration in a way that's suitable for them. Because uh, you know, the role of the teacher is not to just shove information into people, right? <laughs> Even though it feels like that sometimes, especially as a student, we, we can get that feeling. But I believe the, the true teacher, the spirit and the essence of a teacher is to help draw out the innate intelligence and wisdom and knowledge and curiosity that's in the student. Because here's the thing, you guys, if you can do that, right, as a teacher, you can't shove knowledge into people, but you can help inspire them to teach themselves, to learn how to do things themselves. And the fact is, only we can teach ourselves how to do something. All right, and I just, I don't mean only we can go on YouTube and learn how to do things. Of course, we need, you know, compassionate, uh, wise teachers. However, at the end of the day, you learn how to do something yourself, right? And what I mean by that is you, you learn your own way. You make sense out of it for yourself and you gain the skills yourself and you process the information yourself, right, in your own way. That's what I mean. So if you're going to make progress in something, ultimately you are your own teacher, right? And other people become your teaching guides and sort of like coaches. And sometimes when you're a student, you need to also teach your teacher how to teach you. <laughs> All right? All right. So that's my spiel on teaching. I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, but it, at least maybe let's give a moment to appreciate all the teachers, uh, we've had, you know, whether it's for ourselves or for our children, uh, or for our community, uh, whether it's a spiritual teaching or just any, any kind of teaching, anything to teaching about anything. And also your think about you as your own teacher and congratulate yourself for, for helping yourself learn things. Cause ultimately, like I said, that's. That's what we all need to do, all right? It's nobody else's responsibility to educate us, really, uh, even though teachers do get a lot of blame if things aren't going well. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, are we, what are we talking about now? 40 to 60 real church bells versus fake church bells. Are you talking about Taco Bell? Because I know a lot of those are like paper mache. No, you're talking about churches. Um, you guys, you guys know Taco Bell, right? I think at one point they were actually using real bells. I don't think that lasted long. I think a lot of fraternities ended up with bells <laughs> that were old Taco Bell bells. But, you know, I don't know. I don't have any firsthand knowledge of that. And I will not admit to, no, I wasn't in a fraternity. Um, but if I was, I probably would have helped rip off a Taco Bell bell because why, why not? All right, you guys. Um, yeah, so there's there's mission bells. There's uh, which is a little ironic if you think about Taco Bell, <laughs> California missions. Do you guys know we have the Mission Highway, which is Highway 101, and there's a bell marker. There's a little there's a little question mark looking uh, post along the highway, and they're like every mile, and there's a little bell, and that's that marks the Mission Highway, the old Mission Road that goes up California. It's kind of an interesting thing. Um, anyway, we have a lot of bells in California. Maybe I should take one of those. I'll bring it back and play it. We'll play it in a future, uh, Tuesday music. All right, coming up, um, later this month, I do want to mention that we've got an, an amazing teacher joining us for our monthly masterclass workshop. And I am lining up teachers, teachers every month, uh, for patrons at the courses or above tier. And this month, I'm really happy to say that we've got Carolyn Brandy. Now, if you don't know Carolyn Brandy, please Google her. Amazing musician, percussionist, educator. She's the kind of teacher that, to me, 
uh, embodies both music and spirituality. She's a leader in her community. She's an amazing, generous, kind person. She's uh, patient. Her depth of knowledge is super deep and wide. <laughs> she knows a lot and she's, she's experienced a lot. Uh, she also is, as a member of the LGBTQ community, I think very brave and a trailblazer, you know, because it's not easy. Uh, her path is her path is steeper and has more crap in it than my path, all right? I just want to say that. So I have a lot of respect for Carolyn. Uh, and we, we have she and I have connected over the last few years. And uh, I'm just really pleased to have her, to welcome her into the Patreon uh, space uh, for our courses and private lesson tier patrons. So think about that and join if you, if you haven't already. That content will not be available on YouTube or anywhere else except on Patreon. Sorry, but you know, this is the free stuff right here. <laughs> Which I appreciate you guys showing up for. It's great, so we can talk, but you know I'm gonna try to reel you guys in. Come on, over, come on over here. Uh, and I know many of you are patrons already at the courses tier, and I appreciate that. All right, it's about time for uh, to think about, give me five, and guess what you gotta choose, <laughs> guess what you have to choose from today? Yes, lots of bells. So let's, let's take an inventory, and by the way, you guys, there's more down here. I couldn't even, uh, oh. Oh, this is a similar one. I couldn't even fit them all, so there's some on the floor, but maybe we can pick, maybe we can pick some. Um, I think the Gimme Five should have a, at least two bells in it. Maybe we could make that a, a uh, requirement. So here's here's another Ago Go. That this is an Ago Go, all right. And this one. Oh, thank you, Joseph, for the super chat tip. Um trying to find a drummer for song. What should I do? What hmm? When? When should I do? Um uh, if you guys need help or you want to ask a question, send me a message through my website, kalanimusic.com. Uh, that's the best way. Or you can email me directly at kalanidas at gmail.com, all right? Because I do not have the brain power to read uh, stuff that's coming through the chat and then process it and then give you a good answer right now. And I want to give you a, a good answer. If, if you have a question like that, I just did get a question today from somebody. It was weird. I don't, I don't really know the person, unless that's you, Joe. I know somebody named Joe, and he texted me, and I'm like, I don't even... He's asking me, what drums should I buy for this? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know anything. So I'm not going to give you advice. I don't want to tell people stuff just off the top of my head. Like, oh, yeah, do, go buy this. Uh, because that's not, that's not right. Got to, I, I need to know more. So you guys can hit me up. Um, I do appreciate it if you do become a patron. And then I'll be happy to message you know we can message back and forth a lot of patrons ask me about gear or different things or share information which is awesome that's kind of the point come into the uh the space and we'll have those discussions over there okay this one super high pitched argo go so that's the high argo go and then we have a regular kind of pitched argo go We've got the Gankogui. We've got the triple Argo-Go from Pete Englehart, right? We've got various cowbells. You could just say low, medium, high, large, small, whatever. So let's pick, let's make some lists of five instruments and I will get them together. See, Cornelius is already on it. Uh, so that's what, it, that's what we're talking about. So pick five things. They don't have to all be bells, but you know, if you pick a couple, that's okay. It's our theme today. Uh, and then I'll, uh, loop something together. <laughs> I will loop it up. I'm going to erase what's in here. Yeah. And I'll do my best. And you can, uh, you know, if you want to give me a tempo range, like just fast or medium or slow, uh, you can also suggest a meter, like 
triplet, triple, shuffle, straight, you know, time, funk, funky, or whatever. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a, a minute to do that, and we'll look at it, and then Roseanne will pick someone, or she will pick someone to pick someone, which is also an option. I think, Roseanne, you've only used that, you've only used that privilege or option maybe once. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think. Um, all right, let's see. Anyone? We have a, we've got time, so uh, yeah, let them roll in. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try to clean up here a little. Oh, and you can also, of course, choose the other instruments here: bongos, congas, cajon. See how many? I got like my the, all down here under my feet are just cowbells. <laughs> I could just I could just play them with my feet. Enough of that. That is not high quality content. What does Mark have? Mark is in Thailand. Mark has an app called Jammables. Uh, Mark, you want to leave a link for that? Uh, uh, plug the app on here. Pot, pan, gong, triangle, ago, go. I don't believe I have any pot here. No, I don't. My lungs can't handle that stuff. So what is that? Pot, pan, gong, triangle, I'll go, go. Is that just, can I just use something as the pot and the pan? I mean, I would, if I had a pot and the pan here, I would, I would definitely use them because that's kind of the vibe today. Uh, Cornelius, we do not have a didgeridoo handy. Sorry. I do have one, but I need to work up my uh, didgeridoo chops if we're going to do that. Um... Oh, the lowest bell is, Mark asked. Well, this one's the lowest. It's down. <laughs> it was down on the floor. No, um, let me see. Either It's either this one or the other one. Let me see. This is the lowest one. That is a narrow barrel. Look at that. So, you know, the more narrow, the lower. See? These two, and uh, this one is lower. This one goes to 11. All right, give me five is Daisy. Congratulations, bongos. Triple ago go, tambourine, large cowbell shaker. Okay, let me get that. Triple ago go, large cowbells. Oh my gosh. All right, let me get rid of these small, wimpy cowbells. Uh, I need to clear a little space here. I'm afraid it could be a little noisy, so. I just want to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, you guys. Oh my goodness. Is this part of it? These are what we're not using. Um, oh, my God. oh, there's more over here, too. Look at this. There's a whole nother agro go right over there on the floor. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. These are friends. These two are friends. Maybe we'll leave this one out. They get along. All right. Did you say tambourine? Okay, hold on. Uh... Uh-oh, what is that? What just happened, you guys? I I don't know what's happened. I have no picture. Is that? Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know, you guys. We might be doing this in the, let me see, does this work? Yeah, that works. Oh, I know what that was. You know what? I had a battery. See, I was gonna mention this earlier. The camera up here, you guys don't care. It's not important. The camera up here is on a battery because it's new and I don't have the AC adapter for it. I just ordered it, but I usually have all my cameras on AC, you know, adapters. I don't have batteries in them. But this one is, uh, I was running on a battery. I actually have a replacement over here. Let me pop it in. Hold on. 
I'm going to change the battery right now in the camera. You see how transparent and casual we are here? Look at this. Pop that in. And boom! <laughs> Dead battery right there. All right, we'll charge that later. Let's get going. Enough time. Enough time wasting. All right, how's this? That looks good. Now, the lit, the Gimme 5 has left my screen, so I'm gonna see. Triple Ugger Go Tambourine Large Cowbell Shaker. All right. So I need to find a tambourine. Hang on. That is a lot of high-pitched stuff. Um, I might, I might throw a, I might throw a drum in there. Maybe a little cajon just to, uh, you know, just to fill out the low end. But let's see. Maybe not. This could be fun. <clears throat> and then sometimes I sneak, sneak a little uh, native flute in there, you know. All right. Well, let's see. So we're going to do triple argo go, large bells, and tambourine, right? And uh, bongos, is that right? Bongos. All right. Three, what is that? Three, four? Is that three, four? What is three, one, four? <clears throat> if you want to clarify, let me know. Uh, oh, a deep drum. Three, one, four. All right. Let's do that. I'm going to move this so I have a little more room. Okay, how about if we do another meter? I kind of want to change the... Uh, I want to change the... Maybe uh, maybe we'll do like 3-4. How's that? Like a 1, 2, 3. And then we can go a little faster. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the loops a little bit longer because I can. So hang on a second. <clears throat> This is, okay, this is, for, this is Daisy, it's for Daisy.
Okay, you guys. Thank you, Daisy, for the suggestion. I hope you like that. I'm kind of feeling it. Um, it's time to go. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Rebecca's like very relaxing. Yeah, I lost track of time. I was just... I'll leave this going a couple minutes uh, later, but it is time to go. Uh, thank you for showing up uh, for yourself and for everybody. Thanks to Roseanne for hosting, as always. Um, I appreciate you guys. I hope you're doing well. I'm trying to think if there's any other news. Um, I will be posting some new videos. I've got a couple tank drums back here, the steel tongue drums. And I do have a chromatic, a pair that are chromatic. And I've been meaning to do a video on that. But I need to do a little practice first, I think. That is a whole nother level. It's way up here. So yeah, thanks you guys for coming in. Uh, as always, see us at patreon.com slash Kalani. Consider becoming a patron. It supports this, even if it's five bucks a month or whatever, It's that supports this show. So if you're liking the show, uh, you, could, you could do the super chat. I appreciate that, but chip in five, 10 bucks a month and support, and support the show. We appreciate it. Uh, nice to see you guys, new people, and also get, uh, also, I know some people just joined in the last few minutes, so I want to say hello. I think Greg and I think, did you just join Chris or were you here? I think you were here. I can't keep track, but I appreciate you guys. Have a great night, everybody, and enjoy the music as we, as we fade out. All right. See you next time. World Drum Club.